Hey guys, what's happening? Thanks for tuning in, coming back and watching. I appreciate it. Hope you're doing well and staying safe and healthy. And if you're new here, I'm Jim. It's great to meet you. I make tutorial videos here every week showing you how I edit and enhance my photos using various software products. Today I'm using another Topaz Labs product. This one is called Mask AI. As the name implies, it's an AI-based masking tool. It's fabulous for swat swapping out skies. Now, I would normally do that in Luminar, but there are some situations where Luminar either doesn't recognize the sky or there's maybe not a sky in the image and you wanna put a sky uh, as a background. So this tool would be great for that. It's also just great for swapping out backgrounds and it's uh, it's just incredible, to be honest. So I wanna show you, let's take, for example, this photo, and, and I'm sorry, you're like looking at me talking and then you got a photo of me, but this is an iPhone shot I took in Wales in front of their castle in Conway. It's just, a, it's just a quick snap, blah, blah, blah. But let's say I wanted to put that photo, uh, excuse me, that picture of me on a real photo that I took with my real camera, long exposure, enhanced in Luminar. What if I wanted to swap those out? Well, it's really easy. Basically, it's a background replacement. And the way I would do it is I would take this photo and I would drop it into uh, Mask AI and start doing that. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna drop this photo into Mask AI and here we go, it comes up now. This is gonna be a miniature kind of tutorial. I'm not going into all the things you can do because there's a lot you can do. I'm gonna show you a couple of different options here, but the bottom line is it's very powerful, it's very interesting. You can read more about it at the link down below, which will take you to the Topaz Labs site. Also, uh, I am an affiliate, so that's an affiliate link, and if you use my coupon code, Jim Nix, you can save 15% on this product. It is amazing, I love it, it comes in really handy. Let me show you, there's a couple of things to know. There's a blue, a green, and a red, and there's a paintbrush, and there's a bucket. A paintbrush is for drawing a line or painting. A bucket is for filling an entire area. And as the name, uh, as the colors may imply, um, and, and as it shows here, there's keep, which is green. Anything that's green, you're telling Topaz, hey, keep that. Anything that's red, you're saying cut it or get rid of it. And anything that's blue or compute, you're saying, Hey, Topaz, you figured out you're better at this than I am, and, and that's the way to do it. Now, here's the cool thing is there are now AI capabilities built into this. So in the past, I would take the compute brush, and if I wanted to replace this sky, I would come and I would drag this along the skyline, and I'll show you how that works. You just kind of go like that, um, and then you come around here, you get around my head, and then you go over the hill, and you're saying, okay, I want to get rid of that sky. So this is where the bucket comes in. Click the red bucket. Click up there, now you're saying sky, gone, blue, you figured out, green, keep, and then you can say compute mask, and it'll go through and figure it out for you. So there you go, you can come up and you can see I've got a pretty nice mask here. In fact, I'll just go to single screen, I'll show you what I'm keeping, and it did a great job, honestly. And here is where you can go in and say background, and I wanna pick a different sky. You click on image, you go add the sky. Again, not a full tutorial, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reset this and show you some of the AI capabilities. Okay, here we are back to square one. Now you'll notice over here, I'm in the masking tab. There's three tabs, mask, edge, and background. You'll notice there's a couple of things here. Auto detect sky. I can click on that and it will go in and detect the sky and figure out, and look at that, it basically built the mask for me. Now you're gonna say, Jim, what are these things? And these are the areas where it hasn't quite figured it out. So I can come in with my, oops, I wanna say green, and I can just paint over that, get rid of it, and uh, then it will keep that, right? So I can do the same over here if I want to, and it basically figured out where the sky was for me, so that's a really cool thing. You can also come in here and auto detect subjects. So if I wanted to isolate just myself, I could click that and find just myself or the person in the photo. That's what I'm gonna do next. Okay, here we are. So I'm gonna come in here and just say auto detect subject and look at that, it's basically done the same thing. So it's come in and said, okay, looks like that's a human. It outlined me, left me in green, got my hand, and then left everything else in red. That's detected the subject. So what I generally do is I'll go in, and if there's a specific subject, in this case, I wanna isolate myself, I'm gonna go in and do that, isolate the subject, and then come in and uh, do the mask from there. Now, in this video, I'm actually not gonna use my hand, so I'm gonna go ahead and make all this red, and you can do that with the bucket. If you click on that blue and that green, you can see that goes away, and I need to get the brush because there's a little bit there on my fingers, and there we go. I'm basically now telling it I want my face and the upper part of my torso. I don't want my hand or anything else. In other words, 
I want a new background, which is what I'm talking about in this video. So now you come in and say compute mask and it'll go through, calculate that and then isolate me. Okay, there we go. I've been isolated. Um, so let me, uh, let me change this. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm gonna go to a single window and I'm gonna change this to keep. And there we go. Now you can see it missed a little bit. So this is where I actually like to use the double windows. I'm gonna go back to original over here. And what I'll do is I'll zoom in a little bit and I'll show you this is where I come in and refine the mask. So it is AI based as you can see and as I talked about, but admittedly, it's not perfect. I think it does a great job as you can see here, but you know, there's a tiny bit of, uh, looks like that rock shining through. So this is where I would take my um, mouse, make it a little bit smaller and I would come along here and usually what I do is I just get a little bit closer and try to tell it, you know, hey, that needs to be red. Jim doesn't want that in the thing. Uh, so um, I turned off auto update mask. So I'm going to click update and allow it to go through and see if it's going to process and pick up that extra rock and remove it for me. And there you go. You can see it's been removed. There's a little bit more over here that I think I would just go ahead and um, erase as well. But I think that looks really smooth. I'm going to move on over here. So if you look around my head, uh, and I'm sorry, like I said, you're looking at me both both ways in the video, but I mean, what a great job I think of isolating. Now there's a tiny bit of this hair sticking up and that kind of drives me nuts. So I'm actually going to erase that. Notice I'm erasing on the left one and this is showing me what's being kept. So um, that's kind of how that works. And then I think over here, yeah, there's a little bit of this rock showing through here. So again, I'm just coming through and I'm just coming in here and I'm gonna just make that red. Now I'm gonna go ahead and hit update again and see how I'm doing on my mask. Okay, here we go. You can see my shoulder now. Uh, obviously I was holding the, the phone and taking my, uh, my selfie, if you will. Um, but you can see that's much cleaner now. I did a couple of minor things there. Um, and other than that, I mean, I've got a pretty good mask. I've cut myself, my torso out of that. Um, and I mean, honestly, I think it looks really good. Now, if you want to look at the mask, you can change this to mask. And here's where the next tab comes in, which is edge. And so if you look there, it's a little bit soft around a couple of parts of, of my hair and that sort of thing. So this is where I come in and I mess with the edge hardness. And as you can see, that's kind of crisping that up really nicely, I think, and really focusing in and tightening up that mask. Um, let's look at these other edges. I mean, that is clean and crisp on that shoulder. And I think that one is too. Honestly, like, I'm happy. I think the mask looks great. And so this is where I go and say, you know what I really want to do? Remember, I have this photo. That's what I want to put in the background. So this is where I go to the background and I say image and I go say upload image. And I got to grab that image, which is this one. I had a couple different ones I was looking at. And now I'm going to go back to single screen and I want to show the keep and I want to back up so you're not zoomed into my face. There we go. Now, different aspect ratios, right? So transform comes into play and that's what I'm doing here. I am transforming this photo, uh, the background photo, and basically stretching it to fit the foreground photo. So something about like that, I've now, and I can move this around if I want to, in which I kind of do to be honest. So I think I'm gonna move it about like that. That kind of gets that one boat off of my shoulder and it gets that castle a little bit more out into the open. And there you go. You can just kind of be done with it. Um, and that's really how it works. So this was kind of a quick demo. It's not a full tutorial, but Mask AI, super powerful. It's really great for doing these kind of things. And you know, you can come in and refine some of the edges here if you want to. I mean, I think it did a great job of identifying the subject, allowing me to quickly and easily mask myself out and then stick in that background. So it works really good for like YouTube thumbnails. I've used this many times for my thumbnails, uh, for my video header, if you will, on YouTube. It's great for like, you know, I had that original photo, that iPhone shot like this. Let me show you. There it is. And, you know, let's say I want to take this and then send a photo to the family, but I want the background to be better, uh, basically. So um, I've basically cut out that background and stuck in a better photo that I was taken with a better camera and edited in order to, let's say, send to family or friends. You can make a postcard out of it. You can do Christmas cards. A lot of people do this with bridal photos where you've got a picture of the bride or the bride and the groom and they're, you know, they've got a nice background, but it's not nice enough. And maybe you want to make them a, uh, some kind of 
uh, composite, which is really what we're doing. We're doing composite work here where you want to composite in. Maybe they honeymooned in Hawaii and you've got a great shot of Hawaii, but their wedding wasn't in Hawaii. You could stick them in, that sort of thing. So the uses, honestly, uh, or the use cases are are, are huge. Uh, my point is, I, I get asked, you know, hey, how do you swap out like a background and that sort of thing? This is how I normally go about doing it with Mask AI by Topaz. Super fun, super easy to use. I'll come back with more examples of how I'd use it and be happy to do that. If you have examples that you'd like me to look at, don't hesitate to leave a comment down below. But just wanted to walk through a sample workflow of how I use Mask AI. Super fun product, super powerful. Hope you enjoy it, my friends. There are free trials on the Topaz Labs website if you would like to check that out as well. And uh, if not, regardless, thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon, my friends. Have a great day. Take care and adios.